All right, so hello and welcome back. So today, if you've uh, read the title, we've got drop shadows and making your, your camera have rounded edges. Uh, I've been messing around with meld, trying to get that thing in, and I went down a wormhole in uh, YouTube that said that making drop shadows and curving your, your camera is really difficult and you need like some advanced level degree to be able to do this. So we're gonna show you the easy way to do this. Um, does include three plugins, so we've got drop shadows and rounded edges on your camera. So let's get into that here in just a second. All right, so first I want to start off by saying thanks to everybody who has uh, subscribed, liked, and done all that notification, all that YouTube stuff. We have finally hit 1,000 subscribers. Thank you, everybody who helped uh, the channel get there. We do uh, stream at Twitch and Rumble and TikTok when it gets turned back on. There's a ban for seven days, but uh, yeah, all that link is in the description. If you want uh, help, live help or whatever when we stream on those, go over and check those out. So anyway, back to this video. So uh, OBS, uh, uh, apparently a lot of people are switching over to Meld and talking about how good this software is. I've been messing with it for probably about five or six days now and um, uh, it's, it's, it's lacking. It's, 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 it's good for where it's at right now, but it's, it's lacking a in, in a little bit uh, of other areas. Anyway, OBS, uh, drop shadows for your camera and rounded edges for your camera. So that's what we're going to do. So let's switch over to the other computer and we will uh, we'll show you how to do this really quick. Okay, so we need to start off with downloading some plugins from uh, for OBS really quick. We, we need three, three plugins. We need uh, Stroke Glow Shadow. And again, all of this will be in the description if you wanna go check those uh, plugins out. But we'll go ahead and download this one. We'll go ahead and download the Windows installers. It's just easier that way. Second one we need to get is Advanced Mask. We'll download that one again with the Windows installer. And the third one is something called Source Clone. Again, the Windows installer, we'll download that one. And then we're gonna install all three. Install, that one's done. Advanced Mask, next. Install, it's done. And then the Stroke and Glow. Install and finish. Now all our plugins are done. So we don't need to do anything else. And as you can see, I've got the, the little curved around the camera right now. We're gonna go and show you how to do that. So let's hop into OBS uh, with nothing on there. Okay, so here we are in OBS. We got a clean install. I did make a scene and a video capture device and an image there. We'll get into those here in just a second, but let's go ahead and shrink this down because you can't see the shadow if it's full screen. So I shrink it down. First thing we need to do is we need to add a source clone. You go down to the add button down here and you find source clone. We're just gonna name it camera. Clone type is the source and we're gonna clone our video capture device or whatever you named it. Okay, so now that we've got that, we're gonna click okay. And then the video capture device, we can go ahead and make it go invisible. We're gonna shrink this down because we are going to need to see the uh, the source or we are gonna to need to see the drop shadow when it comes there. Now that we have the source clone set up, we are going to need to crop this. So camera, filters, we're gonna add a crop and pad. Now, if you never used this before, all it does is it takes a little bit off at the end uh, and whatnot. So we're gonna, we're gonna pad the image a little bit. We're gonna say negative 100, and we're gonna do that for all sides. And you'll notice that we've got this black outline around our image now. We can still scale this up if we want, scale it up and down but this is where our drop shadow is going to end up. Now we said the image before, right here, when you turn it on, because you need the drop shadow, is gonna, uh, by default, is gonna be black, so we're gonna make a white background. So we got a white background, and that's, that's a little bright, but here we go. We're gonna right click on the camera, 
filters, and then we're going to add a shadow. Click OK. Now we've got a drop shadow. If you notice, it's right here just a little bit. And then you've got all these different options that you can, you can use right here. We've got an outer shadow or inner shadow, padding, blur type, and then you can, you can mess with it if you want, even the color. So we'll go ahead and select the color. We'll make it green because I, I have this crazy thing of liking this neon green color. Click OK. And you'll see that the shadow showed up, the green showed up a little bit. We can do the size of the shadow, as you can see, the intensity, and it'll only go out to that, um, how much you cropped it. Your light angle, where you want the light angle to be, and then the shadow distance. Fill type, you can do source if you want and change the source, like if you have a gradient or something like this, this is a little bit more of an advanced feature, but um, just leave it on color. And now you've got a drop shadow. So that's how you would do a drop shadow. Second thing you might wanna do is uh, curve the edges of your image. So the rounding of the edges, we're going to uh, go back into your filters on your source, right click, filters, add another effect, and we're gonna add that advanced mask that you added. Click OK. Your image may go a little bit weird, don't worry about that, we'll fix that. Go ahead and recenter mask. And then you're gonna adjust the image to how you want it, the, the height and the width. Don't go, don't scale all the way up or else your mask won't work. So we're gonna scale this up just a little bit. Give it a little bit of height and width. A little bit more. We can turn the zoom down if you want, however you want to do it. And then for the settings on this, you're going to need an alpha mask for shape and, and on rectangle. We'll scroll all the way down to where it says corner radius properties right here. And we're going to turn this up. And you should start to see your corners come in, start rounding off. You can adjust this however you need to to make it a little bit. There we go. Just adjust it to your liking. I'll show you. I'll turn on this white right here. So you can see it's, it's, the corners are rounded now. And we can mess with it a little bit more. Make those edges just a little bit more round. There we go. Anyway, there you go. Now you have uh, drop shadows and the rounded edge. All right, so there you, there you have it. You have the uh, drop shadows and the rounded edges on your camera. Not difficult, not difficult at all. So uh, there you go. Quick little video on how to do these. It's not rocket science or anything like that. So uh, if you would do all that YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, notification. If anything in the video helped you, you know, just put like a smiley face emoji in the bottom. It helps the video out. It gets pushed out and all that good stuff. Uh, again, thank you for the thousand. Uh, hopefully we can, we can get, I don't know, double that by the end of the year. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one.